Watch this. Hello there. Man came ready to play, bro. I love this, bro. I absolutely love that intro. I finish you faster than my favorite joint, man. Definitely a W finisher, man. Here are the login rewards in the menu. Okay, so if you go over to the daily login reward area, you can see Tracer Pack Stony Sloth and the Tracer Pack Cheech and Chong bundle. For today's video, we're gonna focus on Cheech and Chong, but. What's up, guys? It's here, here by New York Quaji. We're here with the Tracer Pack Cheech and Chong bundle, which I just show you guys how to get early if it's working. I don't think this is supposed to be working, but I'm gonna take advantage. So, Cheech and Chong, let me know if you guys are excited to see everything in this bundle. Drop a like, subscribe to your new channel, post notifications, and all that good stuff. I upload store bundle videos here that interest me. And uh, yeah, I'm really interested to see how this uh, ends up being. We got Cheech here, looking pretty clean. He's got the voice lines. I think the actual actors of Cheech and Chong actually uh, uh, like did the voice lines. He looks pretty clean. I've never seen whatever movies they've been. So if you guys have, definitely let me know. We got Chong as well, looking pretty fire. I like I like Chong. I think I like Chong style a little bit more. We got the dangest MTZ556 with uh, with these attachments. In case you guys are curious, no ammunition tracers. So you can't put the tracers on any other gun in the game. Let's check out the tracers. And it legit turns them into a freaking blunt, bruh. That's pretty freaking insane. So definitely make sure you. Uh, you know, see that it's MTZ556. Next up, we have the another HRM9, which is the Hash Assassin. Legit being an assassin. And this comes with no ammunition traces. So you can't put this on any other in the gun in the game, but the design is really clean. This is a really clean HRM9. So if you didn't like the, the Godzilla HRM9, this might be a little bit better. And it's the same here. You also see the little freaking blunt uh, turn up up in here, which looks kind of funny. And for our third gun, we got the Mellow and Mild Haymaker with a very nice looking design and no ammunition traces. But it does come with the Jack Maglift kit. So you can actually use the conversion kit with this and keep the traces, which is really good. I I'm glad that they did that. And like the other ones, you also turn the enemies into blunts. So this is going to be pretty funny. We got the finisher move, a secondhand smoke, the B Mellow decal, the Cheech and Chong's large decal, the Smoke Buds Weapon Sticker, the Weapon Charm of Iconic, Cheech and Chog Seltzer Weapon Charm, and the Loading Screen of Blunt Buddies. All of this for 3,000 COD points. Is it worth it? Comes with three pretty good guns, two operators, finisher, and some other cool stuff. It might be. I still feel like it should have been 2,400, but I'm gonna go ahead and cop it. Tracer Pack Cheech and Chong, you might be able to get it early. If you go through the login rewards. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and rock and roll and see anything secret about this bundle. Let's check it out. So here we've got our guy Chong here looking pretty freaking sweet. And that method I just showed you guys on how to get the bundle early, well, they immediately patched it after I bought the bundle. So as of right now of me recording this video, you can't purchase it in the store, but I suspect that it will be available sometime between, you know, next week around April 15th to around April 18th. They're gonna release it a couple of days before 420 to obviously celebrate 420. So make sure you check the store every single day from the 15th to the 18th. And I guarantee one of those days, the bundle will be out. So sorry to anybody that didn't get the bundle earlier, but I'm still gonna show you guys how the effects are because I'm sure you guys are pretty curious. So let's go over and move over towards, towards the guns now. So here we got the Hash Assassin HRM9, the Dankest M16 or MTZ556 and the Mellow and Mild Haymaker. So here we have the, the tracer gun of the HRM9 and you can change any of the attachments except for the ammunition if you wanna keep the tracers. If you change the ammunition or add an ammunition, you're gonna lose the tracer. So don't mess with the ammunition, mess with everything else. Here's how the gun looks like with gilded. Here's how the gun looks like with forged. Here's how the gun looks like with priceless. And here's how it looks like with interstellar. Looks really great on these blueprints when it comes to mastery camels. Here's golden enigma, zircon scale, serpentinite, and Borealis. You're gonna get a lot out of this freaking blueprint.
This blueprint is automatically freaking godly with any camo you put it on, which is a W. Now moving over to the MTZ556 Dankist, you can change any of the attachments except for the ammunition, as you guys know, if you want to keep the tracers. Just don't add an ammunition, don't change the ammunition, just, you know, change every, every other attachment and you'll keep the tracers. But when it comes to the camels, here's how it looks like with Gilded, here's how it looks like with Forged, here's how it looks like with Priceless, and here's how it looks like with Interstellar. Once again, a very clean blueprint with Mastery camos. Same thing with Zombie camos going to Enigma, Zircon Scale, Serpentinite, and Borealis looking pretty fresh. And just like the HRM blueprint, this MTZ looks amazing with every camo in this game, which is a huge W. And lastly, we got the Haymaker now, and here are the attachments. And keep in mind, if you want to keep the tracers, you can change any of the attachments except for the conversion kit. If you take off the conversion kit, you are going to lose the tracers. So make sure you keep the conversion kit on, and you'll be able to keep the tracers. Besides, this gun is better with the conversion kit anyways. But he let's go ahead and look at the uh, camels now. Here's how Gilded looks like. Forged priceless and interstellar so not as good on this gun as compared to the other blueprints as you can see from the the camos you will only see the the blueprint look on the rear grip and on the drum mag This, this blueprint's alright with camos, but definitely the other blueprints are way better. And I'm sure you guys are curious as to how the decals look. Here's the uh, the freaking little sloth decal on the SVA 545, looking pretty funny. And here's the Cheech and Chong's decal on the MTZ 556. I find this decal kind of small on most guns, and it's not the best decal. Hopefully they improve their placement, because the placement on most of these guns is very terrible. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how the guns look like with their meta class setups for multiplayer. So here are the base blueprint attachments for the HRM9 Hash Assassin. And here's the meta class setup for the Hash Assassin HRM9. As you can see, these class setups on these blueprints are already super good. You don't really lose much of the look at all. Here's the base blueprint attachments for the MTZ556 Dankist. And here's the meta class setup for the Dankist MTZ556. So this one, you kind of do lose a little bit more of the look, but you can just put a camo and the gun is going to look pretty sweet still with the whale, you know, looking pretty cool there. Here are the base blueprint attachments for the Haymaker Mellow and Mild. And here's the meta class setup for multiplayer for the Haymaker, Mel, and Mild. All I changed was the muzzle. Everything else stays the same because they already have the class setup set up for there for you. Legit, beautiful blueprint attachments. And of course, as you guys are all wondering, Cheech and Chong are both on either side of the, of the, of the, the operator list. So you have Chong on the left side, looking pretty funny with his pistol there. And we've got Cheech on the right side so you can run them at the same time which i love that they did because it would have sucked that they were both on the same side so this is pretty sweet and let me show you guys chong's freaking intro i think it's really funny watch this shit man came ready to play bro i love this bro i absolutely love that intro i'm stoned and i can't get up man he can't get up man i think the actual voice actors actually voiced uh, both of the operators here, which I think is really amazing. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. I definitely prefer Chong because uh, I felt like they actually tried more on Chong's uh, voice acting personally. But yeah, let me go ahead and get into the game. Show you guys how the guns tracers looks like and anything secret about them. And of course, I'll show off that beautiful new finishing move, which is known as the uh, what you call it the second half smoke, which should look pretty funny. Let's go ahead and rock and roll. Okay, so here we have the HRM9 Hash Assassin, which looks really freaking dope. I love the colorway on this freaking blueprint. And here we have the dankest M MTZ556, looking also very, very freaking clean. Bro, this thing, these blueprints are pretty raw, bro. They look really shiny and great. Oh my God, it's a whole bunch of freaking blunts that you shoot out of the guns bro that's kind of funny 
So, yeah, I really like the chases already, man. <laughs> you're just shooting blunts at the enemies, which I think is really dope. And if you're wondering, here is the MTZ's iron sight, in case you guys are curious. And now moving over to the, and this is my meta class setup, still has the tracers by the way. But uh, here's the mellow and mild haymaker, which honestly has the most color and looks amazing with the base blueprint colors. And keep in mind, this is pretty much the meta class right here. It looks really great. And it also shoots a whole bunch of freaking blunts, bro. That is actually incredible. And now let's see our opponents transform real quick. <laughs> I'm smoking him up. And there he goes. He turns legit into Cheech and Chong blunts when you kill them, which is pretty creative. I can't lie. And let's see the haymaker. And they legit turn into uh, the blunts again. <laughs> pretty crazy stuff out here. And lastly, let's go ahead and check it with the MTZ. And there you go. So <laughs> yeah, it's pretty freaking creepy if you ask me, but it works. Really great freaking traces on these weapons for three really good guns. And now let's check out the finisher. <laughs> I just smoked him out. Finish you faster than my favorite joint, man. <laughs> <laughs> Finished him faster than his favorite joint. Chong has a really great sense of humor. Now let's see how the finisher looks like when they're laying down. I finish you faster than my favorite joint, man. <laughs> That's pretty freaking funny, bro. You legit just smoke them when you finish them, which is crazy. And now let's see how the finisher looks when they're downed. I finish you faster than my favorite joint, man. Definitely a W finisher, man. Kind of wish he would switch up the voice lines every time he would kill somebody, but uh, W finisher. So here we have Chong in freaking third person mode and he legit has a gun flying from the front of him, which is kind of funny, but he looks pretty great, man. Love his design. I definitely prefer Chong over Cheech, but I'll go, go ahead and show over Cheech here in a second. But just wanted to show off Chong first because, you know, he's a big baller. I think he looks pretty dope. Let me know what you guys think about Chong's design here in MW3 and Warzone. And here we have our dude freaking Cheech looking freaking amazing. I've never seen Cheech and Chong. A lot of my viewers have told me that I should watch the movie. But let me know if this bundle is kind of given some good references to either the movie or whatever other media they've been in. And let me know if you ever if you've known about Cheech and Chong before this little collaborative uh, bundle with Call of Duty. Like I said, I was very unfamiliar with them until now, which is you know kind of crazy, I guess, because I am nearing 30. And maybe I should have known about them. But let me know if I should if I should watch the movie about them. Let me go ahead and see this finisher from him now. I smoked you like my favorite strain, man. <laughs> smoked him like his favorite strain. Love their freaking voice lines. Even though it doesn't seem like they have much, they probably have more while I'm actually playing. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about Cheech and Chong here. Do you guys think the bundle is worth it? I think it's worth it. You get two operator skins, both for separate sides. You're always going to be using one or the other. They got three freaking weed guns that have really great traces in this memorment and are actually really good guns in both multiplayer and Warzone and they have great blueprint attachments already and they have a pretty fire finish that you can put on any freaking skin in the game. I think for 3,000 COD points, it is worth it. I still would have loved it to be at 2,400 COD points personally, but uh, you're definitely getting the bang for your buck with this bundle. That's my freaking review. But yeah, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to new channels, post notifications. Like I said, I cover store bundle videos here on the channel as well as high kill Warzone gameplays. You know, watch me play Warzone, I go pretty crazy. And would you guys like me to review the Tracer Packs uh, Sloth Bundle? I don't think it's worth it. Like, if you're a 420 person, I think this is definitely the better bundle to go. The Sloth Bundle just has some sucky guns, but the Operator skin is kind of cool. Uh, it's up to you if you want to have a price slot. So I don't think I'll cover it, but if there's su enough support for it, I might cover it, but I really wanted to cover this. And keep in mind, this might not be out right now. Wait until somewhere between 15th and 18th of April next week, and you'll definitely see it out before 420. Anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts on the bundles, and uh, keep being big ballers. Thank you for this love on the videos. Uh